Hi there, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to move on in our algebra course and we're going to talk about factorising and do a basic introduction. Now to understand what factorising is, we need to remember what we have done in previous videos, namely expanding brackets. Now in a previous video, where we saw something like this, 2 multiplied by x plus 3, we expanded the brackets in a shortcut way, we showed the long way, but we expanded the brackets in a shortcut way by saying this was equal to 2x plus 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay, so that was expanding the brackets. Now, factorising is actually going backwards. Imagine you started off with this situation, 2x plus 6. It would be converting it back, so um, some of the expressions are in a bracket. Okay, so this thing here is called expanding. And going from the expansion to the bracket form is called factorising. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Okay, to start with. We first need to remember our prime numbers. They were important in um, a, a uh, fractions and they're important in ma many other places so we need to write down our prime numbers at the top of the page, the primes. Our prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, etc. Okay, so our primes are vital to this. Now let's do an example. Here's example 1. Suppose we wanted to factorise 2x Plus 10. The first thing I would like you to do is write each component broken down into their, what multiplies to them. Okay, so 2x is clearly 2 multiplied by x. And we have plus because of here. And 10. Now, what two prime numbers up here multiply, so that's times to 10? Well, you should know that 10 is 2 times 5. So we would write that as 2 multiplied by 5. Now, it's made everything easy for ourselves, we want to take out a common factor. What number is in both this expression and this expression? What number is multiplying in both there and there? Well, you can see that clearly a 2 is what's common. So you take out a factor of 2, then you introduce your brackets, and you write what would have been left. There's an x plus... 5. And that's your answer. And at the end, just double check it actually works. If you were to expand this thing out, 2 times x would be 2x, 2 times 5 would be 10, and we would have done it correctly. Okay, let's have a go at another example. Example 2. Suppose we were trying to factorise 3x plus 21. The first thing we would do is break down the 3x and the 21. So 3x means 3 multiplied by x. 21, looking up here again, okay, which of uh, these numbers multiply to 21? Well, hopefully you'll recognise that 3 and 7 do. So we've got 3x plus from here, 3 times 7. Now we're going to factorise out the common. What's common in here and here? Well, there's a common factor of 3. So we're going to factorise out the 3. And in brackets, we're left with x plus 7. Check our answer just to check we haven't made a mistake. If I did multiply it back out, 3 times x would be 3x. Three, 3 times 7 would be 21. And I'd be done. OK, going to do another three examples and then we're done. OK, the next example, let's just write our primes down again so we can refer to them. Here are our primes, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, etc. So example 3, slightly more complicated, same idea. Suppose we are factorising 4x plus 10. OK, so I want you to break up each of these expressions. Now, 4 is not prime, but what primes are multiplied to 4? Well, 2 times 2. So 4 is 2 times 2, and then you have times x. And 10, 
Well, what does 10, uh, break 10 up into uh, things that multiply to 10, primes that multiply? It would be 2 multiplied by 5. Now we take out a common factor. The only common factor is the 2 here and the 2 here. So take that outside the bracket, and we would have 2 times x, which is left, which is 2x, and we would have plus 5. Check it works. 2 times 2x is indeed 4x, and 2 times 5 is indeed 10. So we've done it. Example 4. So, imagine we were factorising 6x plus 20. OK, same thing. 6 isn't prime, it's not on our list, so let's break up 6 first. 6, what primes multiply to 6? Well, 2 multiplied by 3, then multiplied by x, because we have that x here, and then plus. Now, what, what primes multiply to um, 20? Well, 2 certainly goes into it, OK, and then another 2 times 5, OK? So, now, what we're going to factorise out? Anything common? Well, there's a common 2 there and a common 2 there. So that's what we're going to factorise out, take out a factor of 2. And in the brackets, we'll have 3 multiplied by x, which we write as 3x. And we have 2 multiplied by 5 left, which is 10. OK? One more example of this type, just to get you um, fully uh, ready for this. Imagine we had 8x, uh, let's say, I don't know, plus... Um, 8x plus 20, let's say, for example. OK, break the 8 up. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2 as primes times x. And 20, we said, is plus 2 times 2 times 5. Now, here's a bit trickier. We're going to take out a common factor. There's a 2 here and a 2 here and another 2 here and another 2 here. So we're taking out 2 times 2, which is 4. And in the brackets, we're left with a 2 times x, which is 2x, and a 5, so plus 5. And check it expands out. 4 times 2x is 8x, and 4 times 5 is 20. And we're done for this simple introduction video. Thanks for watching.